All right. So I'm super stoked to be here hanging today with Michael Elsner, and uh, he's a uh, awesome session guitar player in LA. You've heard him on all kinds of TV shows and, and movies and things. And we're checking out this profiling amp, and basically what it does is it takes a digital fingerprint of your amp head and copies it into a sound. So basically we have like a divided by 13 amp, it's an RSA 31, and we're going to make a, a basically a copy of that head in here digitally. But Michael knows a lot more about it, so he's going to let him kind of take it away. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that you probably notice with this amp are lots of lights. It kind of looks like the Starship Enterprise, but uh, <laughs> it's surprisingly very simple to navigate around. And um, basically you can break it up into two sections. You can break it up into a top half and a bottom half. The top half acts just like any amp rig. Okay, you have uh, you have various stomp pedals that you can uh, assign to each each place. You have four uh, places that you can stomp a, a, that you can assign a stomp pedal for. Okay, and that's in this section here. And those stomp pedals can be anything from like a tube screamer to a chorus compressor, um, a, you know, a vibrato or a tremolo, anything anything yeah. you really want. Um, then you have your actual amp stack, okay, and that involves your amplifier, which could be your head, uh, a separate EQ section, and your cabinet, uh, which also includes the microphone that you used to profile the amp with, okay. And that's here, and your final section here is basically going to be your time-based effects like delays and reverbs, which generally come after an amplifier. Those are in these two buttons. And in these two uh, slots here, you have space for an extra mod, so uh, or modulation pedal, for example, if you wanted to put a chorus in there. And here you have a space for if you wanted to throw a, a crazy distortion after your amp, or, or any other pedal, you can put it here. Okay, so that's basically your amp rig. Um, and then you have these quick uh, knobs, which allow you to adjust your noise gate. They allow you to adjust the rate and intensity of uh, a modulation pedal that you have uh, put into your uh, stomp, uh, stomp pedal slots. They allow you to adjust the delay feedback and mix, and your reverb time and mix. So just if you're playing a gig and you want to quickly go make a quick adjustment, you can do that here without having to navigate any, uh, any um, menus. Cool. Okay, so that's the top half. Just acts like a normal amp stack. The bottom half is also pretty simple. This is where it tells you everything that you want to know about what you're adjusting. These are your quick uh, knob adjustments uh, on an amp for bass, treble, uh, mids and presence, as well as gain and your output volume uh, for that particular channel. So it's actually a pretty simple amp to navigate your way around. But the yes. cool thing about it is the profiling. Yeah, so we should basically, we're going to plug in the divided by, and we're going to hear that amp, and then it's going to, we're going to make a sample of it. Yeah. So, yeah. like a patch or... Exactly. Right. Okay, so what we do is we have, uh, we actually have his divided by going through the amp, okay, and we're going to listen to that right now. Cool. So All right. So that's the divided by 13 with a 57, in, 57 front of the, yeah. in front of the cabinet. And this is uh, acting as just a pass-through. You're not hearing anything out of this amp when you're listening to that, okay? Uh, the signal is going from the guitar through uh, the profiler into the divided by 13, which is then going into the other room to the cabinet. It's got a microphone uh, in front of it. The microphone's coming back through an API preamp. The API is being returned to the back of this. So it's just one big loop, okay? So that's what that amp sounds like. Now we're actually going to profile it. And the profile it is real simple. Uh, we're in the profiling menu, we're just going to tell it that it's a distorted sound, so it knows it's going to profile a distorted sound, okay? And then we're going to hit start profiling. Hit this button, and uh, you might not be able to hear it because you're way over there and the amp is all the way in the other room. <laughs> You've got the speaker control. <laughs> so there's some weird noises going through it, and it lasts for about, you know, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds. And right now you're hearing like a very low uh, pulsating white noise white. kind of a thing. And then it's going to end with some big banging noises like that. And in a moment it will be done. In one moment 
it will be done. Does it matter if you play and stand up? Probably don't. Want to uh, no, no, no. Yeah. This is this is the front end of this is shut off. Okay. Got so it. now it's it's profiled. This tells us that we're profiled. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have you play a couple chords, just slowly. <laughs> Matching them up. Cool, so you're done. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to this is the divided by 13. So we're play the same thing, this is the Kemp ramp we just profiled. So what Crazy. we just heard was just coming out of this and no longer going through the divided by 13. So one more time, one the more time. divided by 13. Alright, and... So you hear a difference? It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty stupid, yeah. It's pretty fantastic. But that's basically this new crazy amp called the Kemper Profiling Amp. Check it out, and Michael is the man for just giving us the rundown on that. Thanks for, thanks for the time yeah. and everything. Cool, so. thanks. Awesome. All right, rock and roll.